Now that you've got your Hike Central server software installed, it's time to activate and manage licenses. We'll start off by logging in via the web client. We need to log in as the system administrator in order to have access to the licensing features. Once we're logged in via the web client, we can go to the licensing section on the web client homepage on the lower right hand side. We have a section for license details, online activation, and offline activation. We're going to attempt an online activation, which assumes that we have a connection to the internet. The first step is to enter the activation code you received when you placed your order. Be sure to enter it in the proper format. If your system was designed with hot spare, you need to turn the hot spare switch on and choose the appropriate type of hot spare. For more information on this, contact technical support. Now we come to the end user licensing agreement, scan through the document, and when you're satisfied, accept the terms of the license agreement, and then click on OK. At this point, we receive an error message stating that the server is not available. So let's go ahead and try an offline activation, just so that we can see those steps. The first thing that we need to do is export our activation file. So I clicked on export the license request and I'm entering the activation code just like we did in the previous window but in this case we're actually creating a small file. We click on export, again accept the terms of the user agreement and at the bottom of your web client you should see the option to save this file. I'm going to choose save as select a location where I'll be able to find it, remember the file name, and click on Save. And now it says that my download has been completed. From a machine with internet access, you're going to go to hikevision.com en. Please don't forget the en or you'll be on the wrong website. Choose VMS, then Support, then go to the License Management section. And here you will see step-by-step -step instructions on how to activate your license. Most of these steps we've already completed. But where we want to get to is here on the bottom of the page where we're going to submit the file that we created earlier. We browse to the file location and click on Submit. Depending on your browser, you might be a little confused because it will seem like nothing's happening. You might need to scroll back up towards the top of the page to see the message that your file is now ready for download. And we're going to go ahead now at the bottom of the page, choose to save this file in a location where we'll be able to find it, maybe the same portable media that we use to come to this machine. And our download is complete. And now we need to go back to our Hike Central server via the web client and import this activation file. So you're going to go ahead and browse to wherever you have that file stored, select it, open it, and import it. At this point, we have actually now licensed our system. As you can see, our license expiry date has now shown up as a trial period. We can click on our license details and see what our license includes, what's enabled, what's being used, etc. We can go to our license list and see all licenses that have been applied to this system. There could be multiple licenses here as you do upgrades to your system. Here's how I can update my license and basically we're going through the exact same steps that we did before, whether it be online updating or offline updating. And finally, we can deactivate a license. Perhaps we need to move this license to a different machine. So we would need to go ahead and deactivate it again online or offline so that that license would be freed up so that we could reuse it on a different piece of hardware. Although there are quite a few steps in the licensing process, it's really not that difficult once you go through the steps one time.